there's only three reasons I can conclude why you clicked on this video. One, you recently purchased a mouse pad with boobs for wrist rests and like, what, you're not going to use that? Two, you already know all the best key bindings and you just want to watch the video and let me know down in the comments how wrong I am. And three, you tried using a controller and had a similar experience to me. And I guess there's a fourth reason. You're getting into Elden Ring, or you've been playing for a bit, and you're just legitimately interested if there's any way to make your life a little bit easier. Either way, here you are. So buckle up, buckaroo. I'm about to go over the mouse and keyboard settings to make your life easier. Through personal experience and precise, intense research, I googled it. And hey, by the end of the video, if you learned anything, or I made you giggle, feel free to hit that thumbs up button to let YouTube know. Also, if you have your own tips and tricks for keyboard and mouse settings, pop it down in the comments and let me and everyone else see. I, uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Oh, and subscribe. Now, in case you were wondering, I did not plan on going into any video settings. I'm not too well versed on this subject, but you know who is? Panjano. You can find a link to his video down in the description if you're looking to eke out some more FPS in the game. He does multiple games. He's a fantastic content creator. Check him out. Now, if I can politely ask you to stop looking at my naked man and head on over to your settings, we'll go over all the important things you need to change. Under the sound and display category, you want to look for the device for on-stream prompts. Change this from gamepad to keyboard and mouse. You'll look at the bottom, you can see that it, you know, I don't think I need to explain why this is important. Then head on over to the left and you'll see under the game options, auto target. This makes it so when you're not locked on, it has a better time looking at the opponent. This can help you out on some fights, you know, like ones where the enemy's foot takes up the entire screen. Yeah, locking on for those fights can be a nightmare and auto target helps you out with that. On to the keyboard and mouse settings. If you want to change your sensitivity, well, there's a mouse sensitivity. I have it currently at six. Just keep in mind that the setting under camera options, the camera speed does not affect how fast your mouse turns your screen okay so you're comfortable with that you got a got a good sensitivity cool go into key bindings now at first glance you can see that this game has some wonky default bindings ah uh, yes i love using the f button as jump so the first thing i did was change my key binding for jump to spacebar yeah i know the other thing's not bound but now we have to figure out a backstep dodge roll dash button well you could just swap that to f if you'd like but here's the important thing not only when you tap this button will you dodge roll or backstep but you also have to hold it down to sprint so if you're at your computer and you want to imagine holding the f button while sprinting around it's wonky right it's real weird so you could keep the f button on jump if you're a psycho or you could use your mouse i personally use the logitech g pro wireless super light mouse that's a lot of words but the important thing you need to know about it, it has two side buttons. So for the back step slash dodge roll slash dash, I like to use my mouse four button. I would suggest having it as the mouse button that you feel most comfortable hitting because you'll be hitting it a lot. And then I'm just going to go ahead and highlight this, hit R and get it out of here. Just as a heads up, the movement control, if you hold this button down, it makes you walk. Alt is fine. I use control personally. And then for the crouch and stand up, X is pretty default. You could also use C if you want to. I like to use alt. That might sound crazy. I'm just used to alt ducking in any first person shooter game I've ever played. Don't judge me. Scrolling down to the camera controls, you'll see that one binding, the most important one, is the reset camera lock on slash remove target. Q is default. I use Q. I like it. It feels good. Now we've got the most important parts of it, and that is the switch armament category and the attack category. Now, by default, your switch sorcery slash incantation switch item, all these are bound to your arrow buttons. Who the hell is clicking their arrow buttons, bro? Not me. So really quickly, I'm going to show you the key bindings I use, and then I'm going to demonstrate what the hell that even means. For our switch sorcery and incantation, we're going to use the mouse scroll up, switch item. We're going to have that mouse scroll down. And then over here for switch right hand armament two and one for the left hand. And I'm just going to remove these bad boys. Wow, it's beautiful. But what does that mean? I'll show you. So as you can see, my naked man, a little less naked, is about to demonstrate all these sweet key bindings. Now, if I scroll up, you can see that I'm alternating between, paying attention to the bottom left of the screen, Glintstone Pebble and Starlight, the two best skills in the game. Don't at me. And if I hit the mouse wheel down, I'm rotating through all my flasks. Wow. Look at them. They're amazing. Now, if I hit the two button, I'll rotate through different weapons I have. I currently have set up a Moonveil Katana and an Azure's Glintstone Staff, depending if I want to spell cast or not. And then I've got a shield and another staff. So if I wanted to, for example, do a little sword and board, fight them, I can block now, cool. But then I want to do some long range damage, I can swap to my staff, 
And if I'm kind of in mid-range, I can still block. Or I can swap to my other staff, which gives increased gravity spell damage. And if I wanted to cast something like Rock Sling, I could do that. Now, here's the real reason why I use these buttons that I do. And that is your quick menu. If you hold E, E is the default. We'll go over that in a second, but you're going to keep it E, so don't worry about it. But if you hold E, you're going to see that the bottom left is going to change. I currently have nothing bound to it. Boo. Well, how do you bind things to these? Well, you're going to press the escape button and you're going to see your pouch. Bing, bang, boom. This one's up. This one's right, down, and left. Simple enough. But with these key bindings, that essentially means the up is going to be scroll up. The down is going to be scroll down. The left is going to be your number one key and the right is going to be your number two key. So for example, what are some things that I like to use a lot? Well, first of all, we'll highlight one and hit switch. And we were going to put our steed on there. We use torrent a lot. And then for our left and right, I think we use our health and mana flasks a lot. So I'm going to put my life flask on the left slot and my mana flask on the right slot. And then for the top slot, you can do something like your wanderous physique flask. You could also do really commonly used in dark dungeons, the lantern, and you're done. So how do you use this? So you just hold E, you can see your key bindings. If I want to pull out my lantern, I scroll up. Wow, what a beautiful lantern. I can see his junk much more clearly. If I scroll down, I can pull out a horse out of my ass. Cool. And if I want to take a health flask, hit the one button. And a mana flask, hit the two button. Easy as that. Which makes it so this equipment slot for having all the flasks down here is pointless. Now you can have a bunch of different things down there and you won't have to scroll through a bunch with your mouse wheel and be like, oh, I overscrolled it. Okay, no, no panicking. All your buttons are right here. Now for the last section, you've got your left click will attack. Shift left click will do a heavy attack. Right click will do a guard or like block. Skill will activate the skill if you have a weapon that has a weapon art. And then you have your use item and event action. And event action is that button that I'm talking about E, but E is like the default use button for like any game. So I kept that the same. It makes sense to me. But the skill is what really causes an issue. It's default binding is shift right click, but it's heavy attack is shift left click. Let me tell you why that's an issue. Let's use moon veil, for example. We're gonna pull out our moon veil by hitting the number two button. Wow, we learned how to do that. And it has two different attacks. It has its heavy version, which does a vertical slice, and it has its horizontal slash. But it's really tricky to pull that off because if you're holding shift and right click to queue up your attack, and then you left click, well, then you're holding shift while, while left clicking. So you're always going to do the heavy attack. And to do the light attack, you're going to have to like hit shift and right click. And as soon as you start up, let go of shift and then do the left click. It's just, it's just a lot of buttons, right? Unnecessito. That's why I like to bind my skill button to mouse five. That's my other mouse button on the side of my mouse. Now I don't have to worry about timing when I'm holding shift. I just need to hold mouse five and then either hit left click to do a horizontal slash or hold shift and mouse five, then left click. Boom. I can alternate between the two without having to like properly time my buttons. Get it? Got it? Good. That's it. Now understand this. My bindings were chosen because they feel the most comfortable to me. Does that mean they're the best key bindings? No, nobody's key bindings are the best. But Kami, your title says, yeah, I know what it says, but my personal key bindings that I feel like are super good, but not the best because best is subjective to each person was just too long of a title. Seriously though, if you made it this far, thank you. And again, if you've got any fancy key bindings you want to share with the world, toss it down in the comments. And while you're down there, let me know if you want to see any other types of videos. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I am your muse. Whew, I'm outies. But remember, don't be a dick. Have a good game.